Hello and welcome to a plastic special of Renewable English. I have got a very special guest with me today. His name is Dave Bowden and he is the founder of Word Gorilla. So Dave, can you tell me something about Word Gorilla? Yes, yes, yes I yes, can. I can. <laughs> nice. So, Word Gorilla. Uh, I'm the founder of Word Gorilla and Word Gorilla, we're an organization that help people to use uh, words and language and writing to, uh, to essentially uh, create more engagement, more engagement and creativity, um, educational engagement, engaging the workplace, you know, engagement through being creative and being more productive. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, now, I'm a big fan of yours. And we were speaking recently and you told me about an incredible poem. Well, you, you read your incredible poem, Plastic Not Fantastic. Now, before we hear that, could you tell us what was your inspiration behind Plastic Not Fantastic? My, uh, my inspiration uh, about, the, about Plastic Not, Not Fantastic comes from, uh, actually, I was on a beach in, uh, in Chipiona, a wonderful beach. And I sat down, I sat down with a notebook and I was gonna do some writing. You know, it's very important to me. Self-expression, again, being creative, making myself more productive. And I was gonna have a lovely day. And as I, as I lay down with my notepad, I, I looked around me and I thought this is a wonderful looking beach. And I looked right next to me and I saw a nappy. <laughs> now, you don't wanna see a nappy uh, because it stinks uh, and it kind of ruined the experience for me. So then I, I thought I'll move and then I turned around and all around me I could literally just see rubbish everywhere and it, it just blew my mind. I couldn't understand the reasons behind it because there was this wonderful beach where people were coming down to to have a lovely time uh, and they're obviously coming down and leaving their rubbish um, and it, I, I just couldn't fathom it. So that was my inspiration behind Plastic Not Fantastic. Um, right. But I think it's important to mention with that, that, that plastic is also a wonderful thing if we want to keep it for a very, very long time. You know, uh, it was great. Plastic was great because it stopped things like ivory being used for combs. Um, however, we need to treat it with a lot of respect. So that's what this is about. Well, oh. Oh, great. So... If you would be so kind, um, the floor is yours. Okay. 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 This poem is called Plastic. Plastic. Not. 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 Fantastic. Let me tell you. Down by the ocean, down by the sea, there are lots of bits of plastic and they're floating around me. Fish are swimming through it and it's clogging up their gills. It's suffocating fish is really what we will. Up on the hillside by the river over there. Everywhere you walk, there is plastic everywhere. There's bags in the bushes, there's wrappers under rocks. It seems to me the whole wide world, it needs a telling off. Well, plastic's cheap to make, but what's the real cost? A world full of rubbish that will never get lost. Bury it in landfill, it will never disappear. Some of it recycles, but how much is not clear? Plastic not fantastic gives the earth a nasty sting, and we must slow producing this non organic thing it's filthing up our homes rivers lands and seas and only you can stop this and change this you're the key thank you absolutely superb i'm sure people are applauding at home now as well um so we are going to have a little play with that song uh, after this interview, um, if you don't mind, what song? I call it a song. It's a poem. I would love. I would love. I would love. I would love. I'll tell you why I called it a song, though, Dave. Um, and I must apologise because the activity we're going to do with it now is called songversations. So we're going to have a chat with your poem. So I guess oh, it's please do, please do. Poemversations. 
Yeah, that, it doesn't sound quite as good as Song of Sations, but Poem Versations, I can't think of anything better. That will do, yes. Well, thank you so much for being with us, and I hope in the near future we can speak to you again. Thanks very much. Peace be the journey. i tell you what, that was an absolute pleasure chatting to uh, Word Gorilla, or Dave as he's otherwise known. Now, what I'd like to do, as I mentioned, is do a little activity I call Songversations. Now, this started oof, probably about six or seven years ago when I was driving in the, in, along in the car and the songs came on the radio and what I decided to do was kind of have a chat and ask questions which the song would then give answers to. So I've never done it with a poem before but I'm really excited to give it a try. So without further ado, let's give it a shot. And yet again, I'd like to give a warm welcome to the word gorilla, but I'm a bit confused. Where are you, mate? Let me tell you. Down by the ocean, down by the sea. Ah, the ocean or the sea? I mean, well, depends. Maybe you're at a point where the ocean meets the sea. Now that's cool. Now, what can you see down there? There are lots of bits of plastic. That's horrible. I hate plastic. What's it doing? Plastic and they're floating around me. Oh, I can't be very nice for the wildlife. Fish are swimming through it. Oh, that's horrible. They're swimming through it. What's it doing to them? And it's <gasps> clogging up their gills. Oh, no. You must be really perplexed and confused. This suffocating fish is really what we will. I don't think so. I mean, I guess if there's that much rubbish, you, you probably want to go somewhere else, don't you, mate? Up on the hillside. That's a great idea. Where should we meet? By the river over there. I'd love to. But is there some kind of problem? Yeah. Everywhere you walk, there is plastic everywhere. Where is the plastic? There's bags in the bush. There's bags in the bushes. I can see that. Where are the wrappers? Jeez, there's wrappers under rocks. So, what do you think the solution could be to this? It seems to me the whole wide world it needs a telling off. I couldn't agree more, mate. Thank you so much for, for your time. It's been an absolute pleasure. I'm going to go tell the whole world off. And I'll see you in a bit. So that's Songversations for you. And you can do it with almost any song. Just make sure there aren't too many questions in it because it might get a bit tricky otherwise. Thanks for your time, everybody. Have a lovely weekend and I'll see you soon. <laughs>